Edson McGillstern, do you require assistance in sampling these skeletons? Sampling? Or, yeah, I suppose. And I'm very confused because I immediately think like the samples you get at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I guess you, 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 you know, robots you do what robots do. So I don't, I, I, I won't stop you. Yeah, I, I don't think you'll be confused very long because what Pego does to sample things is go and like kind of like pick them up with the R2-D2 claw and place it into the the very same hole that it heals with because there's some sensors there. So there's just sort of like a bone fragment sticking out of the face area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a multi-purpose hole. It's more of a cloaker. Just like all the holes, am I right? <laughs> you, upon your scanning of the bone, it is a normal human bone. It fits within a 99.875 percentage chance of being human. It is made of calcium, but you notice a thin, almost non-existent acidic layer over the bones, as if some sort of corrosive substance was poured over the entire body. Analysis complete. And then I proceed to explain everything you just said to them. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, robot, uh, Pego, <laughs> if you can sample things, do you think you can sample the ocean and see if it actually is blood? Because that is a mystery that I, the, the true mystery that I be trying to solve here. Acknowledged. Okay, so I, what I do is I kind of like, like I crane my neck, the equivalent of a neck back so that my <laughs> robot face faces up and I allow the blood to drip into the sample hole. <laughs> it's given that blood is still dripping I would make the estimation that we are still under blood <laughs> the blood returns as blood it is it is certainly blood but the DNA profile certainly blood does not match <laughs> anything that you've ever noticed uh, noted in your database the DNA, DNA profiles matches I'm, nothing found in database. All right. Well, that's fucking gross. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up. I'm way more grossed out now. Uh, I'm going My to continue. My apologies. I was not programmed <laughs> to perceive gross. <laughs> oh, that's good. I guess you wouldn't. Pego hasn't been programmed to yuck other people's yums. <laughs> um, Affirmative. 